I picked up Vogue 1820 because I really like the skirt. So I decided I would just look through the envelope and share with you what's inside so we can see how this skirt comes together. So I noticed on the pattern directions that they are only showing the front view of the skirt because it has pockets. And the back view is on the back of the envelope. And it's this one right here. So it looks like the difference between the two is just that the front has pockets. But otherwise it looks pretty similar from the front to the back. This pattern for the skirt says that you can make it out of woven or knit. Okay, so these are the pieces that are in the pattern. So for the skirt, you will need piece 12, which is the pocket facing, piece 13, which is the skirt front, 14 pocket C, 15 skirt back, 16 underskirt front and back, waistband, and then 18, 19, and 20 are the elastic guides that you will need. This is the layout diagram for 60 inch wide fabric. And this is the contrast layout for the 60 inch wide fabric. And for the skirt, it's four pieces, which that's not a whole lot. And then for this contrast, there are only two pieces. So that's not too bad. If you're making the sizes A through F, you can cut your fabric out like this on the fold. And if you're making any of the sizes G through J, you would open it up and cut the fabric this way. Now let's move on to the diagrams that will show how the pattern or the skirt comes together. So the skirt starts out with step number 31 which is the pocket facing. And then you put the pockets on the skirt. Then it looks like you do a little under stitching. Then you just pin the pocket sections to the pocket facing. Then you do this step basting the pocket down. Then you work on your skirt back. Okay, this isn't looking too bad. Step 37 is working on the underskirt. So with right sides together, stitch the underskirt front and back sections together at the side. And then step number 38 is you pin the wrong side of skirt to the right side of the underskirt. Then you move on to step 39 and you start working on your casing folding the waistband in half, step 40. 41, you are attaching the underside of the waistband to the skirt. Step number 41 is pressing the waistband out to prepare for the elastic to go through two channels. 43 just has you cut the elastic and then 44, you're inserting it which I didn't realize you had two casing areas for the elastic. In number 46, you're going to sew up the opening. I don't know if I skipped number 45 or not, but it looks like you're just lapping the elastic over after you get it threaded through. And then after that, you move on to finishing the skirt. And number 48 talks about ways of hemming the skirt with the twin needle cover stitch. Okay, so yes, this is the part I really like. The bottom has a casing, it looks like. So you fold this up and then you are going to Cut some elastic 
and the elastic will go through the casing at the bottom of the skirt to give it this look here. And that's it. So for an advanced pattern, I don't think it looks to be too difficult. So I have no idea when I plan to make this, but since I decided to just open up the envelope and see what the skirt was about, I just thought I would share it with you. And hopefully it wasn't that intimidating. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. When boiling eggs, you can add a lemon wedge to the water before bringing it up to boil. And then that will make the eggshells easier to peel off the egg.